guys, my name is Minka, and today we're going to be unboxing the April 2020 Owl Crate box. So I've been waiting such a long time for this to come in, and I'm so excited to open it. It came in today, so let's get to it. Oh, much better. I'm so excited. So as always, you guys get a sneak peek first. So let's get this open. Ooh, so it comes with the uh, theme of the month card, which is on the top over here. So the theme is full moon magic. I'm just going to put this down on the side because it does have spoilers. So let's look at what's more in the box. So the first item in this box is a pin. Ooh, that's actually really, really nice. It's a pin of an owl, so I'm guessing it has to do with the novel because they usually pair the pins with the book. And it has the different phases of the moon. So I actually really like this pin. It's really, really cute. Okay. Now let's move on to the next item in the box. So there is this box with an owl on it. So it looks really interesting. And when you open it, oh my god. This is act. oh my god, this is so cute. It's a bracelet. Wow. This is, oh my god. This is so cute. Very impressed with this item. Next item is in this little baggie. It says, a dreamer is one who can only find his way by the moonlight. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I'm a little clumsy. Ooh, so it's the different phases of the moon. Not really sure where I'm gonna hang this, but it actually looks really cool. Okay, so the next item is, ooh, what is this? It says, the moon is a loyal companion. And it's a tote bag. Really nice. I really like that it also has the different phases of the moon. I love the color and like the white contrast with the black. I think it's a pretty nice quality bag as well. So really loving this. The next item is... Ooh. With freedom, books, flowers, and the moon. Who could not be happy? Oscar Wilde. Interesting. Oh, so it's a notepad. That's cute. It's really cute. Okay, and next, wow, there's a lot of items in this box. There's a lot of items in this box. So the next item is a puzzle. Okay. This looks really cool. And it's a 300 piece puzzle, so it's going to be fun to put this together. Cool, cool. And now we're going to get to the book of the box, which I'm so excited for. Ooh. So the book of the box is Bone Crier's Moon. So this looks really interesting. It's got, ooh, it's got sprayed edges. And it has the author's signature in the back. It also comes with a little note from the author, so that's really nice. I'm going to save that for later. And I'm just going to read to you um, what the book is about. They alone can keep the dead from preying on the living but their power to ferry the spirits of the dead into goddess Alara's night heavens or Tyrus's underworld comes from sacrifice. The gods demand a promise of dedication at a cost of the bone criers to one true love. Elise has been prepared since birth to become the matriarch of the bone criers, but she must first complete her rite of passage and kill the boy she's also destined to love. Aww. 
Bastian's father was slain by a bone crier, and he's been seeking revenge ever since. But his vengeance comes too late. Elise's ritual has begun, and now their fates are intertwined in life and death. Sabine has never had the stomach for bone crier's work. But when her best friend Elise is taken captive, Sabine will do whatever it takes to break the bond between Elise and Bastien before they all die. Sounds pretty interesting. This is a really nicely put together book. Okay, so I definitely enjoyed this box a lot. It was really, really good. I just think the items in this box were a lot more useful and I really did enjoy them. And I like how they tied into the theme of full moon magic. So here's an overview of everything that was in the box. So we got a canvas pouch, including the dreamy tote from Oscar Wilde. The next item is a bamboo moon phase banner. And then we have the Shatter Me inspired tote bag. And we also have the notebook featuring the Oscar Wilde quote. Um, we also have the, my favorite item, the bracelet, uh, which is uh, inspired by Winterwood. And, um, ooh, okay, how did I not notice this? My favorite series, as you can tell from my background. So the puzzle is inspired by Harry Potter's Remus Lupin. Duh. <laughs> And um, we also have the book, which was Bone Crier's Moon, as you all saw. And um, it comes with the sprayed edges, which is gorgeous. And the letter from the author and the enamel pin. Oh, which is Hedwig. Oh my god, I love that. Oh, that makes me love it so much more. It's Hedwig. Okay. So that was the last item of the box. And the theme for the next box is Rebels with a Cause. And one of the uh, spoilers for the next box is that there's going to be two books in the next box. One of them is going to be a graphic novel, and the other one is going to be a book about uh, rebels with a cause. So I would say my favorite item from the box, this is hard. My favorite item from the box was definitely the bracelet, because this is so gorgeous, you guys. Like, oh my god, so gorgeous. I think my least favorite item, this, it's really cool, it's just I'm not really sure where I would hang this, but that's what I would say. Uh, you can let me know in the comments below what you think was the best item, if you think this box was good. All in all, I think this box, I would give it a solid 4.5 out of 5. I think it was a solid box. It was a lot of fun to unbox and I can't wait to read this month. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'm going to be reviewing some other subscription boxes as well and um, I'm just waiting for them to come in so hopefully they come in soon and I will review those as well. So if that's something you're into uh, please do stay tuned. I'm also going to be doing some reviews for the books I read so if that's something you're interested in as well please do stay tuned and um, do give me some recommendations in the comments down below. Just let me know what you'd like me to read and what you'd like me to do a review on and that's it. Have a great day and I hope you're all staying safe. Please stay healthy and keep smiling.